In this tip of the day, we're going to take a look at applying toolpath to tapered walls. Now in this example, you can see we have a part and we have some orange surfaces that represent the 10 degree tapered wall. Now in reality, you don't need all these solid models. In fact, let's turn these off and let's just leave the wireframe geometry. That's really all you need. Now in this first example, let's say that we want to machine this using a ball nose end mill. Let's head over here to the main toolbar. We're going to select our mill profile operation and all I'm doing is just quickly selecting the geometry that I'd like to machine. That looks good. That looks good. Going to right hand mouse click. All right. Now in this first example, again, let's use a ball nose end mill. So let's change this over here to a ball nose. That looks good. And the diameter is going to be a quarter inch. All this looks fine. Let's click next on that. Our clearances look great. Our approach looks fine. Our rough settings look good. I'm going to take 50,000 step to cut, but down here, I'm going to specify the taper of the wall, which is 10 degrees. Let's click next on that. All this looks good. My lead in and lead out looks great. Let's click finish, and there we go. Now, let's quickly simulate this. Right hand mouse click, click simulate. I'm going to use the solid model that I created earlier for the stock. So let's click OK on that, and here we go. So here's the quarter inch ball nose end mill performing a taper pass. Now remember, all we really needed was just some wireframe geometry. Very simple. Now on this next example, let's take a look at using a taper tool. I'm just going to edit this milling operation. I'm going to right hand mouse click, select edit operation. And for here, we're going to use a taper tool. Let's come over here, change this to tapered. That looks great. I don't need a tip radius on this. Let's set that to zero. Notice how my tool has a 10 degree taper on it. That looks good. We're going to click next on that. Clearances look good. I'm going to leave these all exactly the same. I'm going to take two depths of cut to machine this. Each depth of cut set at 350 thousandths. All that looks good. Let's quickly push through here. My lead in and lead out look great. Let's click finish. And there we go. All right, now let's quickly simulate this. Right hand mouse click. Let's go to simulate. Click OK. And here we go. Here's the tapered tool machining both passes. So remember, when performing toolpath on tapered walls, all you need is wireframe geometry. You can use a ball nose end mill, a bull nose end mill, or a taper tool. It's very simple. Thank you so much for watching, and I look forward to seeing you in the next tip of the day.